I like adventures. Sunday fun day. Sunday fun day. We attempted to fly the drone in this awesome canyon. Of course we crashed. When was the last real kiss? When did it turn from that to this? When did the last spark fly? Might be time for a when drone. did it draw its final sign? Good morning, everyone. Today is another day, a new day, a new adventure. Um, today we are doing some off-roading with our friends here in Utah to another, well, not another, but to a slot canyon of sorts. So I can't really pronounce the name of the area we're going to, so I'm going to let Melissa handle that. But we're going to Bull Valley Gorge area, which is uh, kind of near Escalante and or, um, you know, south east of Bryce, I guess. But it should be a good day, and I'm excited to check out these slot canyons. Like always, guys, make sure you subscribe. It really helps us out. And hopefully you guys have been enjoying these videos. Um, out here in Bryce, you're not really close to any big cities or towns, so we've just been doing a lot of physical activity, you know, hiking, biking, and all that type of stuff. So let us know in the comments if you guys enjoy these videos. We enjoy making them, and hopefully um, you guys get inspired a little bit. Morning, y'all. So we are heading out to Scatumpa, Scatumpa Road. See, I got her on board for this because I couldn't say it and <laughs> she's still struggling. So it's a good one. It's a doozy. S-K-U-T-U-M-P-A-H -S Road, Scatumpa. And, and I would like to correct myself. I might have said Bear Valley Gorge. It's uh, Bull Valley Gorge. Yeah, so this road is in Bull Valley Gorge. Uh, uh, not real fast. The That's our friend. We're cruising. Where are we going? Copy that. Topping off. Topping off some fuel. Yeah, so topping don't off. Run out in the middle of nowhere. That's a good idea. Maybe we'll just fill up too. But might as well. 279, too rich for our blood. No, that's pretty good. I that's... mean, California standards. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Stop teasing you when you when you like remember to when I remember to press the record button instead of the power button every single time that I try to record something. And also, Melissa's like you know like a USB port in a computer. It can you have a 50 50 chance every time you go to stick in like a mouse <laughs> or like whatever. She it took her like four times to put the battery in the camera. Because I had to like shake it out and then it like flipped around in my hand and then I'm like, oh, I don't know which direction I just tried to put it in, so I gotta try it again. But we've all we've all been there, I mean, let's be honest. Like, it's like, I've tried to stick a USB in before and it's taken me like seven times, I'm like, what is like, going on? like, which direction? On? Is it this way? This way? No? It's oh, a 50, this way. 50 chance. And then you always get it on the third try. Uh, yeah, yeah. But anyways, oh God. we wanted to um, talk about how we literally drove like 15 minutes. Um, what, what, it would be what, south east towards Escalante? from Bryce yeah and it's like completely different terrain so is this it so this is the first uh, trail in Kenya I believe 
We did not expect to see people here at all. The parking lot is like kind of full. So this is kind of the first weekend that Utah has kind of opened up. I believe right now the standards for the uh, physical distancing are uh, 20 people if it's if you have anyone that is high risk and 50 people if uh, no one is high risk so a lot of people are out and about this weekend as people have been cooped up so I wonder if it's normally this busy or if it's just because coronavirus When your life's been put on hold for far too long When the sorrow and despair is growing strong There is always something good to be obtained For breaking loose and leave the things that kept you chained So we've been a few slot caves in our life. Can slot cave canyons. This one's uh, it's cool because there's water flowing down the middle. The water's and, really clear too. Yeah, the water's extremely clear, and it um, just this sandstone with these markings is very, very cool. I don't, I don't know. I say cool a lot because I don't really know what to say. It's mesmerizing. Adjective. We gotta work on your adjectives, babe. Whatever, Good lady. Job. Whatever, lady. Time will tell if we got the shot or not. We attempted to fly the drone in this awesome canyon. And right from the get-go, it was telling me low battery, even though the battery said 60%. So I kind of just went for it. And of course we crashed. But well, it's it lost control because it uh it uh, ran out of battery. So, how's the damage? Oh, propeller's nothing. Oh, it crashed! Oh, we're good. It seems okay though. This thing's a tank. Thanks. Is it good? I don't know. It's kind of dirty. <laughs> it wasn't happy about crashing. How's the camera look? It looks okay. I wiped off the screen. It doesn't look scratched. I think we're good. I don't know. We'll see. A few moments later. Alright guys, well, uh, this was an amazing Sunday fun day. 
Melissa, do you have anything to say? Uh, I don't know. What, what? So speechless. <laughs> yeah, this canyon is absolutely amazing. It just goes on and on. There's actually a couple more um, up river, up creek. So we might go check those out. But um, we just want to remind you guys to get out there, enjoy the outdoors, have fun, live your life, travel, live in your RV, don't live in your RV. Just kind of, you do you and enjoy the little things because this has been awesome. Don't forget to subscribe.